a big part of not being able to find help is feeling as though you'll be judged or that you'll be isolated from your peer group. The way society is moving and the way that we're now being involved with a lot of technology, a lot of young guys and girls are losing the ability to socialise. My name is Leighton Bradfield and I'm the founder of 20Talk. My name is Milky Gutter and I'm a treasurer and director at 20Talk. The name 20Talk originated based on our desire to reach people in their 20s. So we actually operate from the 20 to 30 range um, and we want to encourage people to start the conversation. So we partnered the word 20 with talk and it was really a perfect fit for us to operate in the young adult range. Sometimes when people are experiencing mental illness, then discouraged from reaching out for certain resources. We're looking to destigmatize any negative perspectives on mental health through self-reflection, community activities and open nights. Swim for Life was a really pivotal event for us. We got a lot of traction both online and through local politicians. I heard about 20 Talk because some of my local constituents were involved in it and I just really loved what I heard and I, and I love the commitment of the young people who started it up and the fact that they've turned the very tragic circumstances of the loss of a couple of their friends into something positive that will hopefully prevent suicides amongst the people that they have contact with. On the day we had 16 swimmers, four teams of males ranging from 8 to about 60 years old swimming in a relay format. Then we also had two swimmers swimming 20 kilometres, so nine hours of swimming. Started way back in 2017, lost a few really good mates to uh, suicide. We just realised it's an all too common thing in society and wanted to figure out ways to help and ways uh, that we could try and change that. Where I see the real benefit um, from mental health resourcing is when we resource our grassroots organisations. You know, organisations like 20 Talk, for example, where you've got face-to-face -face interaction, they don't cost a lot of money to run, but they have a really good impact on achieving the mental health outcomes that we all want to achieve in our community. On the day, we actually raised $21,000. Yeah, we were just astounded by how much people were keen to get on board. It's good to get that sort of validation, I suppose, from society. Society is saying, yep, you're doing good, keep going. But now that's, that presents us with the challenge, to actually applying those resources in the most beneficial way. Everybody inside actually has a real yearning desire to share their emotions because it's natural. We'll be training up our volunteers, or our leadership team, and so we're all doing mental health first aid courses as well as some counselling and suicide response courses. The foundation of 20 Talk is innovation so what we really want to do is create events and products and, and media that are all scalable so we want to reach Australia wide, we want to go big on this, like we want to change the stigma and we're not going to stop until that happens.